The village is called Magdala, the home of Mary Magdalene. She lived here and she met uh, Jesus here and she continued with him. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's the place. Israeli archaeologist Arfin Najjar oversees the excavation at Magdala. He says the city lay hidden all this time by just a small layer of dirt. Some place almost you touch the surface and you have the wall. Mm -hmm. Waiting for us to 2000 years to when we were coming. The most important discovery here in Magdala has been a synagogue dating back to the time of Jesus. According to archaeologists, it's the first synagogue uncovered in the Galilee. An expression that appears many times in several places of the Gospel. Jesus went around Galilee preaching in their synagogues. So this is the closest synagogue to Capernaum where he lived. So most likely he was here many times. In it, they discovered a 2,000-year-old treasure. They call it the Magdala Stone, and some archaeologists say it's the most important discovery in decades. CBN News first reported on the stone just after it was uncovered in 2009. Father Kelly of the Catholic Order, Legionnaires of Christ, showed us a replica while overlooking the Temple Mount. This particular Magdala Stone is the most important discovery ever made related to the Second Temple, the Temple at the time of Jesus, which Herod redid. So that's uh, quite the statement. The menorah on the stone is one of a kind, the first one discovered before the destruction of the Temple in 70 AD. The Legionnaires of Christ own the land and are building an entire center at Magdala with an archaeological park, hotel, and spiritual center. Father Solana dreamed up the project and wants it to be a center for all. I'm pretty sure it's a gift for the world, for culture, for religions, for Israel, of course. Visitors see the Bible come to life. The altar is in the shape of a boat, a fisherman's boat. You're reminded of Jesus standing in the boat, uh, preaching uh, to the people on the shore. So for me, the whole gospel story has come alive for me here, and it will never mean the same ever again. Father Solana sees the motto of the center, Duke in Altum, Latin for go into the deep, as a message for today. Somehow Jesus tells to all of us, go into the deep, try again. You can, go, go. Mm -hmm. So I think this is a beautiful message that uh, the world needs in this moment. Financial crisis, problems with jobs, uh, many situations, and uh, we need to try again. God is on our side. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, Magdala on the Sea of Galilee.